In this test, we want to find out how the force peaks will be when putting three slack lines on the same length, but on different pretension. So we set up the selectivity super jump line on a length of 20 meters. First, we put it on 4 kN, then on 6 kN, and finally on 8 kN pretension. Then a slack liner of 58 kilos. First, just put his weight in the middle of the line, and after this, made a butt bounce. So, as you can see on the diagram, the force increase is highest on the low tension line. The higher the pretension, the less the force increase. The same thing happens when doing a butt bounce in the middle of the line. I tried, as far as it is possible on different tensioned lines, to make the butt bounce as similar as possible. In this diagram, I only show the increase of force due to the butt bounce. So on the 4 kN line, the force increased by another 4.2 kN. On the 8 kN line, however, there was only an increase of 2.9 kN. After this, I tried to butt bounce as high as I could. Similar curves than before came out. Only the blue curve wasn't as high as expected. But the reason therefore is that I touched the ground slightly. So the conclusion is that on a low tension line, the weight and movement of the slack liner plays a big role for the force in the slack line. However, on very hard tension lines, it is mostly a pretension that is responsible for the final force. The weight and movement of the slack liner only plays an inferior role.